Track changes are a feature in Microsoft Word that allows you to see when changes have been made to a document. These might be your own changes or changes someone else made. Track changes are good because they don't actually alter your original document until you give them permission to. Here is a document that's been edited with track changes. See how some of the text is colored and underlined? That shows you what has been added to the document. If I let my mouse hover over one of the changes, I'll see an identifier that lets me know who made the change. This one says, Jeff Gerke. So I know that Jeff edited this story. If there's another color of track changes in the document, that means another person has made edits to it. And you can hover over that color to find out who that person was. The first thing I do when I receive edits back from my editor is to make sure track changes is turned on. This is important because if I'm going to make changes to the document, my editor wants to be able to see what's different from what she's originally read. Turning on track changes allows my editor to see new changes that I make to the document. The track changes menu is located on the right hand side of the review menu. You can turn track changes on or off by clicking on the track changes icon. It turns orange when it's on. I'm going to walk you through the menu and show you some of the options. If you click on the little down arrow under the track changes icon, a menu will pop up. The first is simply another method of turning track changes on or off. The second allows you to customize your track changes. I don't recommend changing things here only because most people don't and it'll be best for you to get used to seeing track changes the way most everyone else does. The third menu option allows you to change your username. This will be the name that shows up when you hover over your own track changes. Mine says Jill Williamson and my initials are JW. The display for review drop down menu gives you the option of seeing the document in different ways. Final Show Markup allows you to see how the document has been changed. Final shows what the document would look like if you accepted all of the changes. Original Show Markup allows you to see changes made over your original work. And Original shows you what you had from the very start. The Show Markup menu lets you show and hide different editing features. For example, Comments. When we turn them on and off, they go away or they come back. Ink, insertions and deletions, formatting, markup area highlight, which is the area where the deletion balloons show on the right hand side of the manuscript. Balloons allow you to choose whether or not to show deletions with a strike through or have them come out to the side in a balloon. I like the balloon so that I can see the final paragraphs in my manuscript, but it's totally up to you which you prefer. Reviewers allows you to turn on or off a certain reviewer's comments. If there had been more than one editor on this manuscript, each person's name would be listed here. For example, I recently worked on edits on my manuscript that had comments from two editors, so I saw two names here and could turn one off if I only wanted to see one of their sets of changes. Those are the most important things on this menu. The other two listed below this little dotted line, Highlight Updates and Other Authors, are something I've never used. To the left of the tracking features are the comment features. Click New Comment to add a comment out to the side. I'll do that now. The Ink Comment feature has a pen and an eraser. You can also ink a comment if you prefer your own handwriting. That's a little bit scary. You can click Next and Previous to move from one comment to the next. I do this often as I'm going through my edits. You can also delete comments by placing your mouse over the comment and using the right mouse button shortcut menu. As for the Changes features, that menu is located right here, to the right of the Tracking features. Both the Accept and Reject buttons have the same options. They allow you to move through a document faster and accept or reject changes. You can also accept or reject changes if you set your mouse over a change or deletion and click the right mouse button. 
a shortcut menu appears that allows you to accept or reject the change. The Previous and Next buttons allow you to move to the previous or next change in the document. The Compare feature allows you to compare or merge two different documents together, which may be helpful if you're ever confused about what changes were made to your document. It's rare that you'd need this feature, but when you do need it, it's a lifesaver. It saved my life time and again. The Restrict Editing allows you to add restrictions to your document, such as making it a read-only document. Start Inking brings up a menu that allows you to draw on the manuscript or highlight things. And that's the basics.